call it. I didn't want to do this live at first. Just because I've been crying for the last 10, 15 minutes. But I feel people should see. Man. The ugly truth of being a mother. So I'm going to live in my truth. And I'm tired. My truth is I'm tired. I'm tired. And I know this is only going to last alone but man as as a mother it's just not fair it's not fair and we can't blame the kids because they didn't ask to be here but man i'm tired this shit gets so frustrating i literally got my one and two year old and they're probably screaming their heads off and i just had to walk out I had to walk out. This is what I have to do. I have to leave them in their room. And I have to walk out. Because my insanity, my frustration can just, man, it can go there. It can go there. I'm tired. I wish I could just walk away. And this shit is not fair. It's not fair. I literally was sitting here talking to my best friend about it last night. I didn't want him to leave. Because, man, it's just like, man, I hate that Nick, men are able to just walk away. Like, y'all get to walk away. Y'all get to roam and do whatever without having to talk your kids. And this shit is not fair. And excuse my language, but this shit gets tiring. It gets tiring. It's just, it does not make sense. Like, I need someone to please explain to me how is it that men get to walk away? How is it they get to walk away? We believe in having multiple baby daddies. We don't wait for marriage anymore. And I'm not saying we need to walk around virgins and not have sex, but we don't do it responsibly. We blame the man when the condom breaks instead of getting plan B. There are many options for contraception that we don't take and refuse to take because either they want the man or they would like to use the baby to anchor him, or for whatever reason, maybe she wants a baby, but she's just not ready at that time to take care of one and cause all this strife for the life of this child. Black women ain't shit. I grew up like mostly around women. So my, a lot of my life I heard about men and, and our deficiencies. I always wanted to kind of change that. I truly desire to be a man that like, that my wife can, can brag about. How is it that they get to walk away and we are just obligated? Like, we are just, we have no choice. Like, how is that? I didn't make these kids by myself. And I'm not saying, like, you know, a little help here and there. No, like, man, when you got to worry about when you got to get out here and you got something to do, you need to figure out babysitting. You need to figure out providing food. You need to figure out how to make them comfortable and make them feel better. Like, why isn't it just the mothers? Like, why are we the ones that's just delegated? Like, we just have to. We just, it's, you just got to. Like, I just can't walk away. Like, I, let me walk away. Can I just walk away with no kids? Can I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Oh. Excuse me, I'm just venting. Like, I'm sorry. Like, this makes me want to sit here and convert back to going to smoking cigarettes. Like, <laughs> y'all wonder why people sit here and smoke, drink, and whatever else. Like, this shit gets frustrating. This is so frustrating. I'm not saying you walking away. I'm just saying you, like now, you're in and he's on my life. You are where somewhere right now. You don't have to deal with these kids. You do not deal with these kids like I deal with these kids. I have to deal with them day in, day out. I got to make sure they straight. I got to make sure they feel good. Who the hell is making sure I feel good? Like, I want to be able to walk away. Like, man, you go months without having to take care of them. And I am delegated off the back automatically because I'm their mama. 
Like, that shit is not fair. It's not fair. Like, in these times right here, it just gets so frustrated. And y'all males do not understand. Y'all don't understand. Y'all say a break on a few days. No, give me a break like you get a break with months. Can I get a couple months without having to have that responsibility? Can I get a couple months? I don't need a few days. I don't need a week. I need a month. I need a couple months. When you incarcerated and you sitting here in jail for seven, eight months, I'm taking care of these kids by myself that whole time. Now, guess what? Can I get seven, eight months to myself? And I am strong. It's going to be okay. I know it's going to be okay. But guess what? This is one of those mothers. I'm fed up. I got two sick babies who got ear infections and and pink eye and upper respiratory infection like this shit is hard i'm tired i just want to walk away sometimes and i feel so bad i feel bad if it, it makes you feel bad that you just want to walk away i'm tired Let me know I, I need that. it. I need it. I need it. Cause I'm gonna hurt one of them, and I don't want to hurt one of them. No, I don't care. It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> I would never do it intentionally. No. I'm sorry. <sighs> They in there probably crying. I got them locked in the way. I'm going to be okay. I'm, I'm finna get them. Breathe. <laughs> One step at a time, mama. Calm down. Breathe. Mm -hmm. I got them. Mm -hmm. Calm down, okay? Can you do that for me? Sorry. Yes, that's him, Tiffany. I didn't expect him to pull up. <laughs> he pulled right up. So I gotta give him that. But still, again, it, it still remains. People are able to just walk away. And as mothers, we're just delegated. Like, I just wanna walk away. <laughs> Like, I just want a couple months with no responsibility. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and, and it's messed up because it makes you feel like a messed up mother. Like, I feel bad when I say I wish I can go back in time. That if I knew what I knew now, I would do a whole lot better. Because it's also not fair to them. Thank you. Have a good one. But oh, I can't put them in the crisis nursery. Like, do you not understand all that makes your mother feel bad? I get it. There, it is a place here available that they keep your kids up to seventy-two hours. But I don't trust people. That's another thing that makes it hard. We don't trust people with our children. I can't just give my kids to anybody. I don't care who offered to watch them. If you just really are anybody and you don't know my children, I can't just give my babies to you. 
Yes, they piss me off. Yes, they hurt my nerves. Yes, they do all that. But at the same time, them and my baby. And I'd be damned if I put them in harm's way. That's why this is so frustrating. And it, and it messes you up as a mother that you still battle with them. Because sometimes you just wish... I didn't, I didn't give birth to him. And, and it's messed up to say, don't get me wrong. I love my kids. I love my kids. I love them. But it's hard. And see, I messed up by having kids back to back. I literally have a stair step. My babies is one, two, and three, and six. My one and two year old are sick right now. And I'm just, man. <clears throat> <laughs> Again, I know I smile, I laugh, I joke with y'all, but guess what? This is another part of my ugly truth. I have days like this when, man, it just becomes too much. When the kids just do ooh, abundantly just, man, and you just be like, can I just walk away? Let me just walk away. Like, ugh, can I go? Like, and man... I don't want no responsibilities right now. Like, this is where that time out break. I don't want none. What? Like, it's, it's, man, like I said, you just be feeling like, can I just walk away? Can I not have this responsibility? And again, it's not their fault. And I feel bad because I feel that way sometimes. But I'm tired. And I just really need to figure out like... What's an outlet for this? Like, really, seriously. <sighs> What's an outlet? Because I can sit here, smoke my life away. I can sit here and drink. I can sit here and do, but guess what? That's not going to eliminate my problems. That's not going to take away the frustration when all of them are crying and I'm doing my best of my ability and they still just won't stop crying. They still just not satisfied. Like, that's not going to take that away. <laughs> oh, I tell people, if you ain't got no kids, man, please, please evaluate if you really can handle it. Cause it gets hard. It gets so hard. I get how some people are just walk away. It becomes too much for people. But see me being me, I can't. I can't walk away from them. They're the reason I breathe. But at the same time, they give me hell. Mommy, forget it. Okay, mommy. Okay. Go in the living room, please. Go on there with your daddy. Go get your daddy. daddy. I know, Nikki. I can hope. We can hope. Again, I can't blame nobody really but myself. I had him. That's just what it is. So please don't take. Oh, hey, then I'm crying. I know it's gonna be okay. I'm just having a moment right now. I'm having a moment. I didn't expect their daddy just to pull up because he seen me on live, but I thank God he did because I'm ready to walk away. And just for the moment, not walk away permanently, but what?
You need a shirt. Oh, I'm so unorganized right now. It's like when you just have so much on your shoulders and so much to do. But at the same time, I got to delegate. Take my time to them first and then nothing else get accomplished. But that's how things get backed up. You don't get to take care of the things you need to take care of. Bills start piling up. You missing appointments. Like, don't get me wrong. I have to be here to be a mother to them. But. I have stuff to do as far as my bills and setting up things and trying to get things in order to create a solid foundation for us. Like, man, again, the fathers, they still don't understand. They will never understand. Like, until y'all can sit here and walk in our shoes and take care of these kids day in and day out. Like, ain't no sleep. Like, you up all night cleaning up piss and boo-boo and throw up and... Pepper's leaking like mm. I ain't had no sleep. Y'all be wondering why I'm up at two, three, four o'clock in the morning. This is why. Like this is the life of a mother. A single mother, a mother in a home with just the kids by themselves. Like I get upset sometimes because I'm the only adult. I feel like my house is consumed and controlled by kids. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Never mind, just go ahead and send you a lot of I got it. I got it because I'm. Girl, stop. I got it. It's okay. Just let me try. No! But y'all want to see something. Y'all be wanting the truth. Here go the truth. If you ain't got no kids, don't have none. Not unless you really, truly ready to take this on. And if you do, please face them out. Don't, don't, don't have no stair steps. Don't do that. You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to have to end this. Just so I can get them ready so they can go. Again, I just did this. I didn't expect him to come, so. <laughs> I got to get them together. I'll get back on once they're gone. And I guess we can just deliberate and talk a little bit more. I know Mimi, trust me, I know, but this is the ugly truth, I'm living in it, again, I live in my truth daily, seriously, I'll talk to y'all a little bit.